Hi, Emily here, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about some different audio solutions. I'm a yoga teacher, and I'm using my iPhone right now to record this video, including the audio. The iPhone and sometimes my iPad have been what I've been using to teach online. I didn't necessarily know I was convinced to buy Bluetooth earbuds as my solution, so I did a bunch of research, and what you're going to hear after this little intro is some sound clips from different tests I did as well as different recordings so you can hear the different solutions. What my go-to solution right now is the y the Rode Wireless Go. It's a little um, microphone system that I'll go into more detail about how to use and configure. I use that as my microphone and I use a really cheaper pair of earbuds. These are $30. These are the JLab Go Air True Wireless. I also did a test of a slightly more expensive Jabra Elite 65T in the $125 range, supposedly based on reviews and research comparable to the Apple AirPod Pro. And the cheaper $40 Sound Elite 72 earphones, which do have uh, Bluetooth earbuds, but they are connected to each other by a wire. So you'll hear different um, sound clips of these devices, so you can see how they sound and why the Rode Wireless Go is my go-to choice right now. I reach up and back, I turn to the side, and then I turn back to the iPad, and then I fold forward, folding forward, lifting up halfway, hands down, stepping back, downward facing dog. I'm reaching back, talking the same voice as I am as I come forward, coming forward, and then I'm folding over, folding over, Walking myself out, plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, place the hands down, step the right foot back, downward facing dog. We're on the headset now. I'm gonna walk away from the computer. So I'm walking away from the computer. I have my back to the computer. I'm gonna walk actually into the other room. Here I am in the other room. There is some back feedback if you touch them, a little bit of feedback if I shake my head around. It sounds almost a little muffled versus echoey when I'm not using the iPhone definitely feels a little bit like I'm talking to myself uh, in my head, which is a little bit disconcerting. I found that when I plugged these in earlier, I was getting a little bit of humming background noise. Because the sound quality in general, even without much talking or doing anything else, just didn't sound that great. So the Rode Wireless Go is my audio solution right now. When I need to hear students or hear music, I use the cheaper version of my Bluetooth earbuds. I use one of those in my ear. So I'll show you a little bit more about the Rode Wireless Go. There's two units. The one without the screen is the one that you wear on you. It has a little microphone. It has a power button. So I'm going to go ahead and power it on. Once it powers on, it has a little blue light indicator for battery as well as the connection to the receiver. The little receiver is the one with the screen on it. I'm gonna press the power button. It's booting up. And once it connects, the two automatically connect. This blue light on the uh, transmitter turns solid when it's connected here to the receiver. On here on the receiver, I can see the battery uh, amount of both units, the receiver and the transmitter. I see a little bar indicating that it is picking up my sound. And then it has a button here on the bottom for DB where you can press that to change from a low, medium to high gain. I'm going to set it to medium. So two clicks, 
It's on Medium now. And I didn't show this on the um, transmitter. There's also, there's the microphone built into it. It also has a port right next to it that you can plug in a different microphone if you wanted a different solution. This microphone that's inside here though is a really high quality lavalier microphone and I like it because it's protected by this case and so it doesn't pick, as much up, pick up as much sound as I move around, especially important for yoga. What you do with this little transmitter is for me, I clip it right onto my bra strap on my left side. That's just where I've kind of gotten used to it. And here on the receiver, I have a cord that's plugged into it, which has the black end and the gray end. It comes with in the box, a black to black end cable, which isn't gonna work unless you're using a DSLR or a camcorder. Um, you want this TRRS connected to a TRS. And then what I do is I use my laptop computer and all I need to do here is plug in the gray end into my audio jack on my laptop computer. For some people they need, based on their laptop or desktop, a uh, USB adapter instead of this audio jack plug. You could also do that if you wanted to use the audio jack for example, for a speaker, but this solution works well for me. So that just sits wherever I want it to. I would recommend, there's no locking mechanisms on these plugs. So I would recommend using, setting up like a Velcro solution or tape to make sure everything is secure, both into the laptop desktop, as well as into uh, the actual receiving unit on the Rode Wireless Go, just so that you don't have any issues. So what I do here with my earbuds is I just take one of them. I prefer to take the left one. So my left side of the body is my audio and I place that in my ear. And I most often use Zoom for my online meetings when I'm doing a live stream. If I was doing a, a recording, I would actually just get an adapter for this cord with a lightning adapter and plug it right into my iPhone and use my iPhone for video and audio. For live stream, I use the computer and I'm gonna show you what the setup looks like on Zoom meeting. Okay, we're in a Zoom meeting now. I'm gonna show you how to configure the audio setup. Here next to the mute microphone, go to this little arrow. I have already got it set up. It's already my default settings here, but you can go ahead and change these at any time. Selecting a microphone, I have the external microphone, which is the Rode Wireless Go plugged into my Mac Mini. And my speaker is my GLab Go Air. So that is in the, my ear as the earbud so that I can hear students and have a conversation with them even throughout class. And also if I was playing any music for myself or for the class, I could hear that as well. In audio settings, I would suggest that you come and uncheck automatically adjust microphone volume. This will make the volumes more consistent. Zoom can have a tendency to fade the audio volume in and out for the Rode Wireless Go or any other lavalier mic. If you turn your head side to side, it'll overcompensate for those small changes. It also, unchecking this will allow the music and your voice to sound consistent. Otherwise it might fade the music or your voice in and out if you're playing any sounds. You can also go to the advanced settings. Some people like to change these settings for suppressing persistent and intermittent background noise. And some people even like to enable the original sound. I prefer to keep all of these default settings. I found that they give me the back best sound quality, consistency and reduction of background noise. Especially if you have Bluetooth earbuds and you're using those as your microphone, you might come in here and play with these settings. So that's pretty easy. I'll show you one more thing here on if you are planning to share music, go to share screen and you're going to want to be in this advanced tab instead of the basic or files. And that allows you to do music or computer sound only. You hit share and then students will hear your music or audio that you're playing from your computer, but they won't hear or see, or they won't see your screen. Uh, so they'll still be able to see your video feed. And then to change the ratio of your volume compared to the music, you're gonna to need to go into whatever application you're using to play that sound and change the volume in that application and check with your students. Okay, that's about it. It's pretty easy, especially once you do it the first time and you've set up your default in 
um, settings and done your tests, it's really plug and play. So I hope this all was really helpful and let me know if you have any questions.